Welcome to this episode of Best of America by Horseback. I'm Tom C. The Chisholm Trail. It's part of Western legends and cowboy history. The Chisholm Trail exemplifies the cowboy spirit, ingenuity, and determination. It's celebrated in Western movies, poetry, and music. An estimated five million head of cattle were driven along this route from deep in the heart of Texas to newly established railheads in Caldwell, Wichita, and Abilene, Kansas. Camps grew to settlements and eventually cities. Small shops turned into booming industries. Farmers and cowboys became business tycoons. The trail brought change to all who lived near it or rode along it. Today you can ride along and see wagon ruts on the trail. We will ride the heart of the Chisholm Trail from Caldwell, Kansas, known as the Border Queen Town, to Wellington, Mayfield, Clearwater, and Wichita. We will meet the people and visit the towns that made this ride so special for us and who are committed to preserving the history of the Chisholm Trail and the Western way of life for future generations. On this episode, we conclude our ride along the Chisholm Trail at Old Cowtown in Wichita, Kansas. This living history Western town is a museum of authentic buildings that are right off the streets of Old West towns. Reenactors have gunfights in the streets, formers play in the saloons, and the blacksmith shop is stocked to handle any need by the townspeople. We will talk with the director about the history of Wichita and the importance of the railroads that transported the Chisholm Trail cattle to the markets in the east. We'll also take a long look at the legacy of the Chisholm Trail and how it's made its mark on the great American story in the form of books, music, movies, with big names like John Wayne, Gene Autry, Roy Rogers, and more. Join me now for part four of the Chisholm Trail ride as we conclude our ride along the Chisholm Trail with a visit to Old Cowtown in Wichita. I'm Tom C. and we'll be right back. On this episode of Best of America by Horseback, Tom C. and riders conclude the Chisholm Trail Ride in Wichita, Kansas, riding the streets of the historic old cow town and celebrating the ride with a banquet and a very accomplished guest speaker. Last week on part three of the Chisholm Trail Ride, the riders rode north out of Clearwater, Kansas towards Wichita riding past several strategic points along the trail before circling back to Clearwater to visit residents at the Clearwater Nursing Home. It was a treat for both riders and residents to visit with each other, pet the horses, and exchange stories of the past. We also looked at other events offered to the riders throughout the week, which included rodeo events, historic speakers, food, and entertainment. This week, on the conclusion of the Chisholm Trail Ride, we will go with riders on an excursion back in time. Tom C. was invited to bring his riders to Old Cowtown in Wichita to ride the streets of this historic and authentic Cowtown. Originally in the planning of the ride, we were invited to stay at the new Wichita Union Stockyards Event Center in Wichita, where the Chisholm Trail crosses the Cowskin Creek. Owners Mike and Tina Andra of KWLS Radio in Wichita were disappointed that many weeks of severe weather delayed construction of their center, which would not be completed by our arrival date. Now, when we started talking about doing this particular series of shows to on the Chisholm Trail and history of it, they said, well, gotta go up to Mike's place. And that's where the stockyards used to be. Where our Wichita Union Stockyards Event Center, it's, it's not a stockyards, but that's the name of the old huge stockyards that used to be in Wichita. The property is actually the last open 40 acres where the Chisholm Trail came into Wichita. Is it fair to say that that's now preserved for future generations, that that land is always going to be a noted for part of the Chisholm Trail and all the events that you're going to have at that center? Well, yeah. Uh, what we did we built, we're in the process of putting that big event barn together, timber frame barn. There's a Chisholm Trail marker there and it's actually where the Chisholm Trail crossed the Cowskin Creek going into Wichita. 
Mike and Tina still helped with the ride, providing water for our horses at each camp along the trail. And Mike also brought his big rig and stock trailer to Clearwater to help transport riders to and from Old Cowtown. Well, when we first talked, he said, now, now, Tom, I'm gonna help you any way I can, but you gotta go to Cowtown. Cowtown is an actual living history museum of the Old West of Wichita, where I think 90% of the buildings are authentic. I mean, it's got the old Main Street, the grain elevator, and the railroad depot, and, and it's quite a place, and it's run by the county and, and the city, and mainly volunteers man the thing, and it's, it's the real deal. It's not a fake thing that somebody's put up like Disneyland or something, and, and it was enjoyable to see such a crowd there today. And to make sure we got there, you brought that gigantic trailer and loaded up all the horses and said, we're going to Cowtown. And we went to Cowtown and I told everybody with me today, I, don't, I can't remember when I've had so much fun. Tom and the riders were greeted at Old Cowtown by Anthony Horse, Director of Education and Interpretation. He allowed them to meander up and down the streets of this historic Cowtown Museum on their horses while visitors enjoyed petting the horses and talking to the riders about their week-long ride along the Chisholm Trail. As we travel around Wichita, there are signs uh, dispersed throughout town mm -hmm. that have the name Chisholm Trail on them, uh, representations of them. But what is the main feel of the people today in relation to the trail that happened so long ago? History is alive. We are in the middle of history. And the fact that now we've traced the trail through the middle of Wichita, coming across the Arkansas River, going over to where the stockyards were, people can drive up and down that main route and they can say, oh, it actually happened here. This is actually where the trail was. And so that's, that's part of the fun, I think, and part of the excitement that, that people can have, that history is not necessarily in a park like ours. It's not necessarily at a fort or a battlefield, but it can be in the places that you go every day. Life is still there. Mm -hmm. uh, even though it's history, even though the life of the Chisholm Trail still exists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Through the reenactors and through the different things that we do, we try to remind people that, that they are a part of the history and it continues on. And why is it so important that we carry this history forward? History is the story of people, how people solve their problems, how they live their lives, and nine times out of 10, you will find that people today are just like people a long time ago. Guests can go in and out of the buildings, enjoy entertainment and refreshments in the saloons, watch reenactments of gunfights on the streets, and experience the history firsthand. The old Cowtown Museum was established in 1952 and is one of the oldest open air history museums in the central U.S. with 54 historic and recreated buildings, including a period farm situated on 23 acres of land off the original Chisholm Trail. The museum is accredited by the American Alliance of Museums, the highest national recognition achieved by a museum, of which only 3% of all museums in the United States are included. Old Cowtown is a combination of various attractions, a living history site, a historic preservation site, and so much more, all packed into this nonprofit museum that comes to life before your eyes. When Best of America by Horseback returns, Tom and Dell speak to some of the Cowtown reenactors and will learn about the history of Wichita and hear from the grandson of one of its founders who has an exciting story all on his own. Stay tuned, you're watching Best of America by Horseback. We'll be right back. Welcome back to part four of the Best of America by Horseback Chisholm Trail Ride in Kansas. Tom, Dell, and the riders are spending their last day in Kansas at Old Cowtown in Wichita, a one-of-a-kind experience frozen in time 
during the late 19th century American West, full of Wild West shootouts, saloon dancers, and an impressive collection of over 10,000 pieces of textiles, tools, furniture, and art. Tom C. spoke with Anthony Horsch, Director of Education and Interpretation. Anthony, you can probably say it best. Besides being on the Chisholm Trail, where are we? Well, right now we're at Old Cowtown Museum. We are an open air museum that covers 1865 to 1880. And Wichita itself goes through a couple of different periods. We're a hunting trading community. We become a cowboy town and then we become a farming and agricultural community. So we get to get to portray a lot of different activities that are going on. I've seen a lot of replica locations, historic locations and towns. But this is about the best I've ever seen. This is laid out perfectly and it's very, very attractive to be in. Who designed this? Oh, <laughs> we wish we could say there was an intention in designing. It basically is the accumulation of over 60 years of different directors' ideas and the like. But it is a very popular place. We have an awful lot of people come out and shoot movies out here. They, they like the fact that they don't have to build any scenes. And surprisingly enough, they like the corner here. They can ride around the corner and they don't have to have to create some false fronts and things like that. So it's, it's very popular. Our preferred method of, of storytelling is immersion. We want people to go into all the buildings, visit with people, and see what life was like. We've got artifacts laid out. Most of the barriers are quite a bit low, and so people, whenever they walk in, they can kind of look around and, and imagine they are 100 and, 140 years ago. That's what we like to do. Well, air riders are riding up and down the streets, and I've been to a lot of places, including Tombstone and so forth, but. This is the most comfortable riding atmosphere location I think I've ever been in for, for a time period type of thing. Well, we appreciate that. And uh, air riders seem to enjoy it quite a bit, and I think they've taken over for some of the interpreters. We've got so many people talking to them, <laughs> I hope they've given them the right answers. <laughs> well, as long as it's 95% correct. <laughs> Another is blown as my pony hits his stride. You can't tell the day from the night. It's been 200 miles of wind, snow, and hell. I'm praying for dawn's early light. And how many gunfights do you guys do a week or a month? We're out here every other weekend. We do three gunfights on Saturday and on three on Sunday. Okay. So you're doing about 12 gunfights a month? Yeah, roughly. Anthony, when folks hear about the Chisholm Trail, what are the, the main highlights that jump out uh, for those who know the history of the Chisholm Trail? Well, Wichita is located on the Chisholm Trail and it, had it not been for the Chisholm Trail, there's a good chance that Wichita wouldn't have even existed. In the early days, with the Chisholm Trail was more of a freighting route. Jesse Chisholm was a trader, he was an entrepreneur. He went back and forth into Texas and Oklahoma. He was moving freight and goods into the Indian Territory and so he was really doing a lot of things. He became acquainted with one of our town founders, James Mead, and the two of them did quite a bit of work together. Dr. Skyler Jones, the special guest speaker at our conclusion banquet dinner, spoke to the writers about the history of the Chisholm Trail and how his grandfather, J.R. Mead, helped found Wichita and worked with Jesse Chisholm during the formative years of the trail in Kansas. In 1868, together with Governor Samuel Crawford, Mr. Mead incorporated the town which he named Wichita at the junction of the Big and Little Arkansas River and he staked out a 160-acre claim. Here a vision of beauty and interest greeted our eyes, such perhaps as no other spot on the plains could furnish. A level valley spread out before us as far as the eye could reach. The fresh green grass cropped close by the buffalo and bordered by belts of timber resembled a well-kept park he describes uncouth caravans, men, teams, and wagons covered with dust. The immense wagons which were used could carry in bulk as much as a railway car. And these wagons were loaded to the top of the boughs with wool. Jones has traveled the world as an anthropologist, museum curator, author, and historian. 
He is a former Oxford professor. Because of his incredible exploits and adventures, Dr. Jones is said to be one of the main inspirations of the fictional whip-cracking, smooth-talking archaeologist and adventurer, also named Dr. Jones, who you might remember as Indiana Jones. Played by Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones was a beloved character who has explored jungles and hidden temples and traveled the world in a series of movies and TV franchises over 30 years. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to part four of the Best of America by Horseback Chisholm Trail Ride in Kansas. In 1885, with the introduction of barbed wire and more and more land being fenced off, drives along the Chisholm Trail were no more, and the trail faded into American history around the same time as the Kansas Quarantine Law. The law was passed due to the prevalence of a tick-borne disease known commonly as Texas fever that was passed on to local livestock from the Longhorn cattle carriers that were immune to it. Along with the expansion of the railroads into the South, this led to the end of the Kansas role in the Texas cattle industry in the final days of the Chisholm Trail. In its short lifespan, it saw millions of cattle and over a million Mustangs driven along it, the largest migration of livestock in history. The legacy of the Chisholm Trail lives on in history. Over 27 movies have depicted the Chisholm Trail, including the 1970s Red River, starring John Wayne, and a 1942 film, The Old Chisholm Trail, with Johnny Mac Brown and Tex Ritter, its namesake being a famous cowboy song that dates back to the 1870s that was chosen as one of the top 100 Western songs of all time. It has been performed by famous singers like Roy Rogers, Gene Autry, Bing Crosby, and Yodeling Slim Clark, who sang the version used in this series. At least 10 schools are named after Jesse Chisholm, and there are a multitude of Chisholm Trail historical markers and museums across Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. There have been several cattle drives up the Chisholm Trail, like the 150th anniversary drive that drove through Caldwell, Wellington, Mayfield, Clearwater, and Wichita. Several of our riders on the Best of America by Horseback Chisholm Trail Ride also took part in that historic event. What started as one man's determination to live the American dream, blazing his own destiny, trading and doing business freely, has turned into one of America's most important trails and historical events. On Jesse Chisholm's headstone reads the words, No one has ever left his home cold or hungry. Today, his legacy lives on in the art, the cities, and the people that the Chisholm Trail has touched. If you'd like to learn more about visiting and riding around Wichita, you can check out their website, visitwichita.com. For more information on visiting Old Cowtown Museum, you can visit their website, oldcowtown.org, and their social media pages. For a DVD copy of the Best of America by Horseback Chisholm Trail series, you can call our office at 540-829-9555 or visit our website, bestofamericabyhorseback.com. This concludes our series of the historic Chisholm Trail. Thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. I hope you'll join us on an upcoming ride location. To see where we're going to visit next, visit our website, bestofamericabyhorseback.com or visit us on Facebook or on our YouTube channel. Until next week, I'm Tom C.